Hello everyone. So we have uh, another video in this Ansible series and in this video we will talk about how to manage the task failures in Ansible. If you miss any of the videos in the series, please uh, see the video description for the full playlist and, um, and ask in the comment box if you have any questions or doubts. Okay, uh, why we have to take care of the task failures? So in Ansible, uh, you will have a situations like some of the Ansible tasks failed or uh, you want to manage okay if something failed you have to handle this task properly and proceed with the playbook based on some situations so this one we have a few uh, options in Ansible like uh, what if the task fail then how to ignore the task failure or uh, how do you want to proceed with the handler even the task is failed or you want to conditionally fail the task based on some scenarios so we will go through that uh, in the demo and uh, we will also learn how to use fail module in Ansible. There is a special module in Ansible called fail uh, based on some conditions. Okay, so we will go through a demo first. So we have a few uh, files here then also we have a get we have the inventory and the configuration is the same as we have used the last time. So we have the site YAML, this is just a dummy. So I want to execute one task. Uh, just we will say, okay, install a wrong package. So we just want to simulate the issue here. Then name, of course, I want to use something invalid. So I put wrong package, state installed, or maybe present. And of course, if this will fail, we will see how. So Ansible playbook site or yaml and okay it's trying to install it will say okay now package uh, called rom package available and the task failed what if i have another task here so let's say i have a task called name uh, just a message just a debug message here uh, i put like a debug okay maybe restart service anything uh, debug then i put okay message package 10 okay so i have this task so when i have this error of course the ansible playbook will be ex exited and it will not proceed with the next task clean okay now i want to handle this even the pack package installation failed i want to pop up the message or i want to proceed with the next task so how i can do that so in ansible there is a, an option called um, you can add a, an option here like um ignore errors true or you can put yes anything okay so i am telling okay even there is an error proceed with the next task we'll try now okay of course the installation failed but you can see ignoring and it's proceed with the next task package done or any 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 task okay so this is a very important one. So we have many cases where we want to proceed with the next task based on the error. Maybe you have other alternative options inside the play and uh, you want to ignore this error. Okay. Okay. This is the first one. Ignore errors. Okay. Then uh, we have, we will learn the next one. Uh, we have another file called the handler here. This is the same uh, playbook we have used in the previous video for learning handler. If you go uh, handler we can see uh, it's trying to uh, install the HTTPD then it will call the package yeah same thing instead of okay instead of uh, HTTPD the first task we will we are trying to fail the second task so in the second task I put okay restart the firewall D hyphen wrong which is uh, which does not exist of course it will fail and uh, what will happen so Ansible playbook handler and it's trying to install of course it will success then the second task fail now and the actual uh, the, the handler or none of the tasks is executed so I want to execute the handler anyway so how I can do that so inside the handler so inside the playbook I have an option here called force handlers okay force handler if you enable this what will happen even some failure in the task the handler will be executed we will see how what 
okay here it won't because uh, the status is okay we will do one thing uh, we will remove HTPD again and we try again so uh, at least the uh, node one should be notified so we are trying again install HTPD okay node two okay node one should be changed it will call the handler see because we mentioned to run the handler I mean force handler the handler will be executed even you have other error because the playbook the entire playbook failed from the task to even the next play also failed but you mentioned okay even the task failed I need to execute the handler if there is a notification of course because of the change status there is a notification and the handler will be executed now I have another situation so we will go through like we said uh, we have this wrong package installed it's fine uh, let's say I have uh, I will do one thing I will use um, uh, another task here um, called okay maybe here name install good package I, I keep the same task here for your reference letter so here I put yum name HTPD then state um, present then okay of course it will install because the first package first uh, task will fail and but we already told okay proceed with this one ignore second is fail. so I want to uh, fail this task purposefully how to do that if you are expecting some output from the previous task or from the same task and you want to fail the task and there the playbook so what you can do uh, here uh, ignore error slide so what I do uh, I am going to register something here and we will see what is inside register error message okay and I'm going to display it here name display debug message error underscore message so i just want to display and see what is inside so ansible playbook and um site.yml okay so you can see this package failed ignored and you can you had a you had a full error message here so changed equal to false failed true okay this is important then no package wrong package this is a message and yeah you have some uh, details here so i want to execute a task based on this result so it can be any any previous stats so what i'm doing is beam side uh here i put like option uh, okay name i put okay fail if there is a failed status so i want to fail the job based on the previous task it will fail but i'm just telling here i put uh, so here i put fail module then should be a there should be a um, condition so i put like a message uh, the state is failed and this is mandatory because I want to tell Ansible when should this task fail based on what condition. Okay, sorry, uh, there's a typo here. So I put like uh, when there is a condition. So in our case, we will tell you register, sorry, error underscore message dot. What was that? Failed. Okay. If error underscore message dot failed equal to true. If this is, if it's a true, then I want to fail the playbook. If you have a question on this uh, variable, I'll show you again. This is our error underscore message, and this is the variable I am referring to. Okay. Um, we are trying this again. okay now you see 
uh, we have uh, first task is wrong package failed of course but it's trying to proceed then it will display the message still it's proceeding but in the next task i am failing the playbook based on the task so fail if there is a failed status okay because the state is failed so i am purposefully i can fail the playbook based on the conditions for example you want to install some package on the target machine uh, uh, but you want to fail the entire playbook if there is a issue like uh, there is no enough memory or there is no enough cpu or there is no enough hard disk or some os version is different so in that cases you can check the condition and tell ansible okay fail this playbook if the condition is this or that okay so this is a uh, one of the option to purposefully fail the playbook using the fail module good okay. so we have a few more cases uh, where we, we can control ansible task execution or task failures using the change i mean now you can see this uh, change status is from ansible by default it's based on the ansible execution and the result let's say you want to uh, you have a command a base let's say i will do something like that say .yml maybe you do another one uh, changed dot yaml i would like a name name uh, changed changed when and i put notes equal to notes i'm creating new playbook so the other playbook will be there for your reference letter then become true does okay now i have a task called uh, okay i would use like a name uptime so i am using a shell module here then i am using a command uptime register uh, my uptime message okay my 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 bad, my bad should be host sorry for that so i'm executing this again so it says changed okay if you ask yourself you know when you execute this uptime command actually it won't change anything but still ansible show the status changed which is wrong it's not wrong actually as per ansible uh, ansible executed the command and got a result something like that and what we will do we will print this uh, message name print message then we use debug module debug is one of the best module and we were printing uptime message sorry sorry for so many typos so i am printing this variable and want to see what is the result actual result so ansible is executing again and it's uh, giving the full output so here you can see it says changed but nothing nothing changed when you execute the uptime you know the command so here it says changed uh, and it's showing some other results uh, uh, lines what is output all those things good um, i don't want to tell ansible i don't want ansible to say changed uh, even though there are no uh, changes so what i am going to do inside the playbook i'm telling like um, it's something like i put like <coughs> changed when i'm telling ansible i don't need to show the changed message all the time i want to change only when there is something inside so i'm putting some uh, option here so i put like when uh okay maybe success in uptime message i don't want to print uh, changed all the time i want to print changed only when there is a option called success otherwise it should not tell change okay because uptime you know uh, it's not changing anything so i am telling ansible okay changed when success the, key, the the string success is there in the uptime message uh, variable okay let's try 
uh, now you see the status here it's okay only it's not changed earlier it was changed now i told ansible don't don't print changed status because actually it's nothing changed so i told ansible okay changed only when there is some success inside the returned value good so this is a changed one and i have the same option called failed let's say i want to fail this uh, task failed when because this task will not fail of course you know it's just printing a message so i'm just telling ansible uh, when when some keyword mm, my variable then variable is defined so i'm telling ansible okay if my variable is defined fail it so in our case i put like not my variable is defined if my variable is defined fine if not fail this task okay uh, in our case uh, there is no my variable defined anywhere so we try what will happen okay even though it's printing the exact thing it's a successful thing but uh, i purposefully informed ansible to fail the task if the my variable is not defined got it okay so these are the two uh, things you can uh, use in in ansible to control the playbook execution to fail it purposefully or change it when failed when uh, or remember that uh, also the force handler vim handler uh, you can see that i am using force handler even uh, the task failed the handler will be executed if there is uh, a notification from the previous task and another one was the first one uh, we learned how to handle uh, error if there is something you want to ignore and proceed you can use the ignore error and it will proceed with the next task and also the fail module okay so we have ignore errors fail modules force handlers and changed when and also failed when okay learn these five items uh, just uh, google it for the documentation i can I, I can share the documentation inside the video description and uh, explore more on this option because this is very useful to control your playbook execution okay uh, that's it for the uh, task failure all those items in ansible for, for the basics and explore more and ask me in the comment box uh, if you have any questions or doubts thank you for watching see you next time with another video bye